Hey everyone and welcome back to the Storytime channel. Today's story is Little Bear's Big Adventure, written by Sarah Phillips and illustrated by Claire Fennell. Little Bear's Big Adventure One fine winter morning, Little Bear awoke from a long sleep. It must be time to get up, he said to himself. Look how bright the light is. He put on his scarf and picked up his hat and tiptoed past Mummy Bear's bed. Little Bear opened the door and was dazzled by the shimmering scene. The trees were wearing white fluffy coats and the ground was as cold as ice cream. This must be snow, thought Little Bear. How strange it looks. I'm going exploring. As Little Bear set off towards the trees, he sang to himself, I'm walking through the forest. I'm a very brave bear. I'll climb a tree and see what I see. I'm not scared. From the top of the big pine, Little Bear gazed at the snow-clad forest, sparkling like a million crystals in the sunshine. The forest looked different. It even smelled different. Little Bear jumped down from the big pine. He landed on his bottom and began to slide. Whee! He slipped down the slope faster and faster until thud. He hit a soft white bank of snow. Wow, he cried. That was amazing. I'll do it again. And he climbed back up the slope singing. I'm walking through the forest. I'm a very brave bear. Watch me go on the slippery snow. I'm not scared. Sliding was fun. But after a while, Little Bear began to feel lonely. I know, he said to himself, I'll make a snow bear friend. So he got busy pushing, piling and rolling the snow, singing as he worked. I'm walking through the forest, I'm a very brave bear. I'll borrow and dig to build something big. I'm not scared. Hello, said little bear in his biggest voice. But snow bear did not reply. What's all that noise, said the sweet voice from the trees. And with a tweet, 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 Red Bird appeared. What a great snow bear, said Red Bird. But he needs some hair. Wait here. Before Little Bear could say a word, Red Bird flew off and returned with a mouthful of moss. Thank you, Red Bird, said Little Bear. Snow Bear's perfect now, but all that work has made me hot. Phew! Try this, Red Bird said, handing him a spiky icicle. It's a real tweet. Red Bird and Little Bear licked icicles until they were no longer thirsty. Thank you, Red Bird, said Little Bear. Would you like to come sliding with me? Taking Red Bird on his arm, Little Bear sat down and whoosh! Down the slope they went, slipping, sliding, skidding and spinning all the way to the stream. Wow, shouted Little Bear. Tweet, cried Red Bird. Little Bear stepped onto the ice and found that he could skate. Look at this, he called to Red Bird as he spun round and round and sang at the top of his voice. I'm walking through the forest, I'm a very brave bear. Watch me go on the slippery snow. I'm not scared. Little Bear skated along the stream and onto the pond, twirling round and round in circles until thump, he fell on his bottom. Ouch! Little Bear was upset. He felt dizzy and cold and lost. Two big tears rolled down Little Bear's face. Come on, said Red Bird. You're a very brave bear, remember? Little Bear looked at Red Bird. 
He couldn't manage a smile, but he did start to sing very quietly. I'm walking through the forest and I'm a very brave bear. To find the way back, I'll follow my tracks. I'm only a little scared. Slowly and carefully, Little Bear walked back around the pond, along the stream, up the hill and past Snow Bear singing as he went. I've walked through the forest, I'm a very brave bear. My home's in sight, I can see the light. I'm no longer scared. Mommy Bear was standing at the door of the house. Where have you been, little bear? It's not time for us to get up. It's much too cold. Come inside this minute. Yes, mommy, said little bear. Bye-bye, Redbird, and thank you. Tweet, tweet, said Redbird. Mommy bear gave little bear a hug and tucked him into bed. We need another long sleep, she said. When we wake up, the snow will have melted and it will be spring. Little Bear felt tired and happy. He closed his eyes and Mummy Bear sang. You've been walking through the forest, you're my brave little bear. I'll say good night, then you'll sleep tight until the spring is here. And before Mummy Bear could say another word, Little Bear was fast asleep. Good night, Little Bear. Well, everyone, thank you for reading Little Bear's Big Adventure with me today. If you liked the video, don't forget to click on the like button and to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and adventurous stories. See you again next time. Bye-bye.